the sky is a chessboard, and the pieces are getting smarter, faster and more connected than ever before. We live in an era where air combat is being fundamentally redefined. For decades the conversation was dominated by a single, almost mythical attribute, stealth. The ability to be invisible to radar was seen as the ultimate trump card. Jets like the F-22 Raptor and F-35 Lightning II were built around this very principle, costing hundreds of billions of dollars to develop and produce. They represent a brute force approach to a very complex problem, how to survive and win in a modern battle space. But the game is changing. The proliferation of advanced sensors, both on the ground and in the air means pure stealth is no longer a cloak of guaranteed invisibility. New types of radar, infrared search and track systems, and networked sensor grids that can detect even the stealthiest aircraft under the right conditions. This new reality demands a new way of thinking. It's not just about hiding anymore. It's about seeing first, sharing information instantly, and having the digital tools to outthink and outmaneuver your opponent. The future of air combat is less about a single silver bullet technology and more about a holistic networked approach to warfare. This shift opens the door for a different kind of fighter, one that doesn't rely solely on its low, observable characteristics. Instead it leverages electronic warfare, advanced data links, and sheer computational power. It's a philosophy that prioritizes situational awareness and tactical flexibility over the singular pursuit of being unseen. From the forests and frozen landscapes of Sweden comes a fighter jet that perfectly encapsulates this new philosophy. It is the Saab JS-39 Gripen. The name itself tells you its mission, jacked fighter, attack, spanning, which is reconnaissance. It's a true multi-role aircraft, designed from the outset to do everything. Built by the Swedish aerospace and defense company Saab the Gripen, is the product of a nation that has long maintained a policy of neutrality and self-reliance. Without the massive budgets of superpowers Sweden had to innovate, the Gripen is the stunning result of that necessity. The Gripen program was born out of a simple yet incredibly challenging requirement. Sweden needed a single aircraft to replace its aging fleet of Draken and to replace Viggen. This new jet had to be capable of defending Sweden's vast and complex airspace against a numerically superior foe. It had to be easy to maintain, capable of operating from dispersed and austere locations like highways and affordable enough to be procured in significant numbers. This wasn't about building the biggest or fastest fighter, it was about building the smartest and most efficient one. Take one look at the Gripen and you'll see a design that screams efficiency and agility. It's a compact, single-engine fighter with a distinctive Delta Canard configuration. This layout with small four planes called Canards mounted ahead of the main Delta wing is the key to its incredible performance. The Canards provide extra lift, especially at low speeds and high angles of attack, and give the pilot exceptional maneuverability. This makes the Gripen a fearsome dogfighter, able to turn tightly and maintain energy in a way that can surprise larger, more powerful opponents. It's a design that is inherently unstable, which sounds bad, but is actually a huge advantage. This intentional aerodynamic instability is managed by a sophisticated digital fly-by-wire flight control system. The computers are constantly making thousands of tiny adjustments per second to keep the jet flying smoothly. The pilot's inputs are interpreted by the system, which then translates them into the most efficient and effective control surface movements. This frees the pilot from having to constantly fight the aircraft, allowing them to focus entirely on the mission. The result is a jet that feels incredibly responsive and predictable, a true extension of the pilot's own will. It can perform stunning aerial maneuvers like the Cobra, while remaining fully controllable. One of the most unique aspects of the Gripen's design is its requirement to operate from unconventional locations. Sweden's defense doctrine has long relied on the concept of dispersal. If the airframe is the Gripen's body, its avionics suite is its brain and nervous system. And in the new Gripen E, that brain is nothing short of brilliant. The entire aircraft is built around a concept called federated architecture. This is a fancy way of saying the jet systems are separated, radar, electronic warfare suite, communications, mission critical flight systems are kept completely separate from tactical systems. That separation makes the jet highly resilient to cyber attacks and lets Saab perform rapid, affordable upgrades. You can swap or upgrade a sensor or computer without recertifying the whole flight software. At the heart of the Gripen E sensors is the Raven East 05 ASA radar. Unlike older mechanically scanned radars that physically point a dish, 
and AESA uses thousands of tiny transmit-receive modules to steer its beam electronically. That lets it scan vast volumes of sky almost instantaneously, track multiple targets in different directions, and even perform electronic attack functions simultaneously. The Raven sits on a repositioner, a swashplate, so it can be physically angled for a much wider field of regard over 100 degrees to each side giving the pilot unprecedented situational awareness. But the Gripen doesn't rely on radar alone, it carries a passive ARST called Skyward G. Combining ESA and ERST data gives a much more complete, resilient battle space picture. All that info is fed to the pilot on a stunning wide area display, reducing workload and speeding decisions. A fighter jet is only as good as the weapons it can carry and the Gripen is armed to the teeth. It's a true multi-role platform, air-to-air -air combat, ground attack, and reconnaissance missions. For dogfighting, its primary weapon is the Meteor, a beyond-visual-range air-to-air missile. Unlike traditional missiles that coast after burn, the Meteor is powered by a ramjet engine, allowing it to control speed all the way to impact. That gives it a massive no-escape zone and makes it incredibly difficult to evade. A Gripen armed with Meteor can engage targets from very long ranges with a high probability of kill. For close-in combat, the Gripen carries Iris-T and AIM-9X Sidewinder. These are high off bore sight missiles, meaning the pilot doesn't have to point the aircraft's nose at the target to fire. By using a helmet-mounted display, the pilot can simply look at an enemy aircraft, lock the missile, and fire. The missile will then make an incredibly tight turn to intercept the target. This, combined with the Gripen's own agility, makes it a deadly opponent in a visual range fight. The jet is also equipped with a powerful 27mm Mauser BK-27 cannon, a reliable last resort. When the mission shifts to attacking ground targets, the Gripen's versatility truly shines. It can carry a wide array of precision-guided munitions, laser-guided bombs like the GBU-12, and GPS-guided weapons like the GBU-39 small-diameter bomb. The Gripen-E can carry up to 16 of them. It can also deploy standoff weapons such as RBS-15 or the Taurus KEPD-350, letting even a small air force threaten high-value targets from standoff ranges. In the world of fighter jets, performance is only half the story. The other half, and often the more critical one, is cost. This is where the Gripen has carved out a unique and dominant niche for itself. Superpower fighters like the F-35 are incredibly capable, but they come with an eye-watering price tag, not just to purchase, but to operate and to maintain. For many nations, acquiring a fleet of these aircraft is simply not financially viable. The cost per flight hour for an F-35 can be more than double or even triple that of a Gripen. This isn't just an accounting detail, it has profound strategic implications. A lower operational cost means you can fly your jets more often. More flying hours means better trained and more proficient pilots. A well-trained pilot in a Gripen is often more dangerous than a less experienced pilot in a more expensive aircraft. It also means you can afford to buy and sustain a larger fleet. Having more jets in the air provides greater flexibility, resilience, and territorial coverage. For a country with a long border to defend, having 20 available Gripens is far better than 8 grounded F-35S that are too expensive to fly regularly. The Gripen offers a balanced and sustainable approach to air power. Saab's entire business model is built around this principle of affordability and partnership. When a country buys the Gripen, they aren't just buying an airplane, they are often entering into a long-term industrial partnership with Sweden. Saab is known for its generous technology transfer agreements. This was a key factor in Brazil's decision to select the Gripen. Embraer is now a crucial partner in developing the Gripen F. This creates jobs, builds technical expertise, and fosters a sense of ownership. The Gripen isn't just a performer on paper. It has a proven track record in real-world operations and demanding international exercises. One of its most notable deployments was during the 2011 NATO-led intervention in Libya. Operation Unified Protector. The Swedish Air Force deployed eight Gripen Cs to Siganella Air Base in Italy. Their primary mission was tactical reconnaissance, using advanced sensor pods to monitor embargoes and track forces on the ground. Over the campaign the Swedish Gripens flew hundreds of missions, provided critical intelligence to the coalition, and demonstrated exceptional reliability and mission readiness. They integrated seamlessly into a complex multinational operation. The Gripen is a regular respected participant at Red Flag in the United States. Red Flag simulates the first 10 days of a major air war. In these scenarios the Gripen punches above its weight. Pilots from other nations are surprised by the Gripen's agility in dogfights. 
they're also impressed by its electronic warfare and data link systems. Gripen pilots leverage situational awareness and smart tactics to hold their own, even against larger, more expensive teen series fighters and even fifth-generation opponents. The Gripen is the backbone of national air defense in its user community. Czech Air Force Gripens, Hungarian Air Force Gripens, they perform air policing and intercept unidentified aircraft. In Brazil, the Gripen F-39 is being integrated to defend the Amazon basin and protect national strategic interests. Thailand operates a package including the Saab 340 Ariaya AEW and C, Ariaya plus Gripen equal sign a powerful self-contained air defense system. When discussing modern fighters, the inevitable question arises, how does the Gripen stack up against the competition? The most common comparisons are with the American F-35 and the French Rafale. Different philosophies, different customers. The F-35 is, first and foremost, a stealth aircraft. Its shape and materials reduce radar cross-section. It also has an incredibly powerful suite of fused sensors. But this comes at a huge cost, acquisition, maintenance, and a lower sortie rate. The Gripen E prioritizes electronic warfare, a wider field of view radar, and lower costs overall, as opposed to all aspect stealth. In combat, the F-35 would try to stay stealthy and get close, launch missiles before the Gripen detects it. The Gripen counters by jamming or disrupting the F-35's radar, and by using IRS to hunt for heat signatures. Advanced data links let a network of Gripens cooperate, sharing sensor data and building a common battle space picture. Triangulating a stealth aircraft's position, it becomes a cat and mouse game, stealth versus an electronic sensor net. The Meteor, with ramjet propulsion and long range, could be decisive if a firing solution is found. The Rafale comparison is more apples to apples. The Rafale is a highly agile twin-engine multi-role fighter. It uses reduced radar signature and the Spectra EW suite. It is larger, more powerful and more expensive than the Gripen. Gripen's Edge, cutting-edge avionics architecture and wider field-of-view ASA radar. Crucially, cost-effectiveness lets nations buy larger fleets and fly them more often. Designed for austere, dispersed operations, the Gripen is the skilled, efficient middleweight in the fighter world. The Saab Gripen is more than just a successful fighter jet, it represents a vision for the future of air warfare. As technology accelerates, the idea of a single, perfect, do-it-all platform is becoming obsolete. The future belongs to networked systems, adaptable platforms, and the intelligent application of software. The Gripen E sits at the forefront of that evolution. Its federated architecture, separating flight-critical software from tactical systems, is a game-changer. It lets Saab and partner nations develop and deploy new capabilities in months, not years. A new electronic warfare algorithm, a new weapon integration, a new sensor fusion model, deployed quickly. The software-defined approach opens the door to loyal wingman drones and manned-unmanned teaming. The Gripen can act as a command and control node for drone swarms, multiplying its effectiveness. Its design philosophy makes it ideal to pioneer these concepts. Its legacy will also be defined by accessibility and industrial partnership. By offering top-tier capability at a fraction of competitor costs, Saab has empowered dozens of nations to defend sovereignty. It has democratized high-end air power and fostered a more multipolar world. The Gripen model of technology transfer helps nations build technological bases for generations. In conclusion, the Saab Gripen has secured its place in aviation history. It's a testament to Swedish ingenuity and a masterclass in smart, efficient design. While other programs chased absolute stealth, Saab focused on what matters in the digital age. Superior situational awareness, advanced electronic warfare, adaptability, and affordability. The Gripen is not just a fighter for today, it's built for tomorrow. As air forces grapple with 21 saint century battle space challenges, the elegant, efficient and lethal Gripen will continue to dominate the skies. Proving that sometimes the smartest fighter, not the biggest, wins the day. The Gripen. Smart, flexible, and ready for the future.